Hey guys, welcome back to DOS Storm. Have you ever been listening to music and thought, you know, this song is it's pretty cool, but it's not near sound blastery enough for me? Thankfully, you're not alone. Literally half a dozen people, at least, every day think the same thing. Maybe. The good news is, I figured out a way that you can play pretty much any song that you know or hear, whether that be a song on the radio or something, or even songs from other video games, and play them with an OPL3 sound blaster. The best part about this too is you can use it on real hardware or you can even use DOSBox emulation and get good results. So without further introduction, let's get into how you can actually do this. Now, the hard part of this process, which would be recomposing all of the songs, has already been done by the collective internet since the 1990s. Maybe you've already guessed what I'm getting at here. We're talking about MIDI files. How do you get MIDI files? Well, you can very easily find MIDI files by searching the web for them. For everything you can't find in MIDI form, I found that you can get good results by using guitar profiles. Normally, guitar profiles are used for learning guitar songs using tablature, but they're basically just glorified MIDI files. You can download tons of guitar pro tabs from ultimateguitar.com or other websites, and you can open them with a free program called Tux Guitar and export them directly as MIDI files. Okay, so now what do you do with the MIDI files once you get them? Well, to play the files, I'm using a DOS program called Midier. This program should work with any Sound Blaster compatible card and will play back any MIDI file using your hardware's OPL3 chip. This program also works great with DOSBox's Sound Blaster emulation. To get the best results inside of DOSBox, I recommend editing your DOSBox config file and changing the OPLMU option from default to compat. You don't have to do this, but I noticed some weird pinging sounds on some of the drums when it was set to default. One final thing to note is that since we're using MIDI files just randomly found on the internet, uh, the quality of said files can vary greatly. Not all songs translate super well into the quirky sound of the OPL3 chip, and some MIDI files found on the internet are just composed poorly. So if you find that one version of a MIDI file just sounds bad, you can try to find another or use the Guitar Pro method I mentioned earlier. So with the tutorial out of the way, let's hear what it sounds like. I took some of my favorite songs and decided to convert a few Nintendo game tunes for good measure. As for the sound card, I'll be using this Aztec 2316R, which is an OPL3 based card I recently covered. I'm also doing something a little different this time and using my Tascam DR05X for the recording. So I'm going to end the video off here. You guys give this a listen and let me know what you think and maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.